Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video I'm going to talk about dealing with adversity. You know those times where you just want to say F you to the world? Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. Maybe you keep getting triggered, maybe you keep getting knocked down and you're starting to question, you know, what's the whole world got against me? Like, why is this the case? And you're starting to look at it as everybody is against you. And in reality, they're not. The only person that's against you at that point in time is the person in your head. And when you're so consumed by it, it's so difficult at times to be able to actually uncover that. But you know what? Today, what I want to talk about is how to actually process it. How do I actually be able to become free from the grasp of that frustration and that the world is against me mentality. I've been there. It's not fun. And especially when you're in a, a low emotional state, you're just looking at it going, you know, of course, one more thing. Of course, you know, of course it would happen to me. Of course they would think that of me. And the truth of the matter is, is like, you've got a different way to be able to choose to respond to it. You can either allow it to validate your reality and continue having you going down that path that is, you know, the poor me, victim state, the world's against me, of course, and all of this. Or you can actually transform it and use it as fuel to fire you out of the hole in which you're in so that you can actually take back your life and take ownership and charge on through and actually start to achieve something in life or achieve the dreams that you're, you're wanting to go after. I know for me, it can be very, very difficult when you are in that low state to be able to see it clearly. I get that. I understand. If you're there right now, I can completely understand that place. And I just want to encourage you and to invite you to acknowledge and understand that there is another way to look at the situation. And at the end of the day, it does start with your interpretation of what's going on. It starts with your own opinion of yourself. Now, if you currently aren't loving yourself, if you don't have a high regard for yourself and, you know, self-love and that side of things and you're starting to beat yourself up constantly, if that negative voice in your head is starting to take control of you, then yeah, I agree. It's going to be really, really difficult. And right now you're probably saying, Brett, you don't understand. I've had this, 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 and this, and this, and this happen. You don't understand. And you know what? Sure. I might not have had those exact events happen, granted, but the mindset and the thought process is the same regardless. You can wallow in your, your pity party and cry victim and cry help. Or as I said, you can actually use it to fuel you to get out of where you are because there was a quote that I heard some time ago is that greatness comes out of adversity. Things like cures for cancer is born out of adversity. Somebody is dealing with cancer or dealing with a situation, dealing with a, a troublesome event and they go on a war path to create the cures or to create a foundation that's going to raise money towards it or other charities and all of these things. They're born out of adversity. When somebody hits rock bottom and they go, you know what? Enough is enough. It's time to get up and start moving forward with my life and actually turn this around. And instead of being at the mercy of whatever's going on, I'm going to turn that around and create what I'm creating. And generally, when you get into that point, and when I started to shift for that, it was like, look out world, because I'm on my way. And that's what I want to invite you to look for. That's where I want to invite you to start to move towards, because there is so much greatness within inside of you, even if you cannot see that yourself right now. Like, given what's going on, maybe you're, you're just sitting there and you can't see it. But I want to tell you that it's in there. And I promise you, it's in all of us. We all have the ability to do something great in this world and create our own life. Now, it's up to you. So let's get into how we can transform this because at the end of the day, I want to ensure that you've got the tools so you can start to transform it in your own life and you can start to make that shift. So first and foremost is acknowledging what the actual event was. What is it that triggered you? What actually was said? What did you interpret it as? What meaning did you give it? Did somebody highlight something that you're trying to hide under the radar about. Maybe you're in a job and you're trying to fly under the radar and, and get by, but yet somebody highlighted something about your work ethic and all of a sudden you're triggered by it. You're like, yeah, poor me. Like, And all of a sudden you're, you're, you're closing down and thinking the whole world's against me. You know what? F this. I'm out of here. Just acknowledge it. It might be hard at one point in time to be able to put your ego aside and put your pride aside, but when you actually start to acknowledge what actually happened, what meaning did you give it? Was it the fact that they're constantly on your case, yada, yada, yada. But yet when you know deep down in yourself that you're not actually really giving it 100%, you could be doing more. That's when you start to think that the whole world is against you because you've been found out. It's the guilt of knowing that you could be doing more and that your heart's not 100% in it. And maybe what's required there is for you to start looking for another environment to be in, another job, or maybe choose not to be in those social environments. Whatever it actually is that's triggering you and having you have these reactions to think that the whole world is against you or 
validating this reality that you have made up in your mind, then start to move away from that. Start looking for that other job. Start to, to shift your environment because one, it's not healthy, but at the same time, there's a reason why you're in that environment and being triggered. Understand this, and I talk, spoke about this in a previous video about emotions, which I'll link below, is that what happens in other people that trigger us is something that we're not willing to accept within ourselves. Start to look into that. What is it that's going on? What is it that's actually triggering you? Because when you can get real and have that real talk with yourself, you're able to start to let go of the grasps of the, the situation and become free from it. Massive, massive crucial thing. Because when you start to do that, the whole world is going to start shifting. And look, if you're struggling to be able to understand what's triggering that destructive thought pattern, then go and click that link below and go and grab the four free videos to the Path to Self Mastery program. And that's going to start to introduce you to this concept of triggers. At the end of the day, we have all of these visual triggers, auditory triggers, and these all have us respond in a way that's been pre-programmed all throughout our childhood. So go and grab those four videos. The link is in the description below and start to have a look into that because it guides you through on a step-by-step -step basis. Because as I said at the start, I don't want you to be in this state. It's not a healthy state to be. And at the end of the day, there is so much greatness within you and it's just waiting to be uncovered. Coming back to how to be able to work through that adversity and the frustration is to identify what it is that's triggered you. What meaning have you given it? And be real with yourself. And also uncover how could you transform your opinion of that? How can you transform your meaning so it's something that supports you? You know, maybe it is that you have been underperforming at work and you've been found out, but not directly found out and said, you're not doing enough work. Somebody's just highlighted something and you've gone, oh, the guilt has come up. Then be real with yourself. Be like, okay, well, yeah, that's right. I know I haven't been doing enough. What I could do moving forward so that I don't have that situation arise is to actually put in more effort, make those calls, go and see those clients, smile more when I'm meeting customers, whatever it actually is that you've been sort of found out by and start to put in that more effort because what you'll find is that you grow in happiness. Granted, it's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be easy. I get that. But at the end of the day, it's all about breaking that cycle because the world is not against you. The world is here to support each and every one of us. And as I said, everything that happens that triggers us in other people is something that we're not willing to accept or honor or acknowledge within ourselves. It's only a reflection. It's a mirror. So the world is not against you. It's purely showing you what areas that you are to work work on so that you can grow and develop as a person. That's all it is. All right, guys, as said, go and grab those four free videos down below for the Path to Self Mastery program. If you got any value out of this video, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.